Okay, welcome to a different edition of Cracking the Cryptic today, um, where we're going to take a look at um, the so-called cell blocks puzzle that appears in the Times. Um, when it appears in the Times, um, it's only a 7x7 seven seven grid, and that really, um, I suppose, it makes the puzzle slightly trivial in that there's only a certain amount that the setter can do. Um, so we're going to take a look at a proper puzzle, um, a puzzle that appears on the nickly.com website, which we've plugged before, and is um, you know, it's the fantastic uh, place to solve puzzles on a daily basis. Uh, it's a Japanese website, and um, they release four or five puzzles every day. They're all handmade puzzles, so they're uh, of very, very high quality. And we're going to show how this puzzle, so-called Shikaku, is what it's called in Japan, um, uh, how this puzzle can be more interesting. So, without further ado, hopefully this will. Oh, no, it won't work. That's going to work now, hopefully. Hopefully, it's in the right box. And what we need to do when we're doing this puzzle is immediately try and focus on the bigger numbers. And you're especially looking for prime numbers or numbers that can only be um, sort of cut up in certain ways. So this 15 is a very interesting mm -hmm. number because 15 can only be either a completely straight line like this or a 3 by 5 box like that or you know any other direction. So I'm immediately looking there. I'd be putting in things like this to indicate this 12 has to go and extend upwards just in case that forced uh, the 6 somehow here. Um, and similarly here we can see that's forced. This 10 is interesting and in that it has to do that. Uh, hopefully that's obvious why. And this 8 is interesting and in that this is forced. This has to do that because it can't extend far enough any other way. So that helps with this 9 which now has to do this. Now this cell is interesting because it cannot be reached by this 10. Where you have this sort of, this sort of thing and a cell like this that means it has to go there like that. And now you can see all of a sudden these puzzles, they're all the same. Once you um, once you make a little bit of progress like that, everything will start to just crumble. Uh, and you'll easily be able to make a lot of extra progress very, very quickly. Here the interesting point to note is this cell. This cell has to be within this 9, which forces the 9 to be a 3x3 three 9 three rather than a one by. 9, 9, if that makes sense in English. Um, now we're just trying to... I See, I've been doing these puzzles for a long time, so I can see how this cell, for example, that has to be part of this 4. And once that's the case, this is forced and this is forced. And now, you know, that's interesting as well, because this 12 now just has to be an extending 12 like this. Um, still can't quite fix the position. This cell is now interesting. The same reason this 10 can't reach it. And this, neither can this 4, neither can this 4. So you're then left with that sort of configuration. Um, and now this 9 is starting to get, it can just about get to this cell, but that cell is going to be a, an important cell we need to focus on. This it's forced. So that's uh, this 12. This 12 unfortunately can still go all the way along so we can't do much with that and we can see this 14 also can extend all the way along so we can't do much with that. So now where I'd be looking probably is this 12. Um, this 12 we know it needs to extend at least 3 um, and hopefully that's obvious why. Um, now does that help us? Mm, still perhaps not quite. So where can we go now to find a place where logic is is forced? Well, actually we can do something with this 14. Because this 14, it could be like this. But if it isn't like this, it has to be a 2-7. Because so that's the only other way of making 14 as, as a rectangle. Now if it's a 2-7, that means it's going to extend exactly one cell upwards. And then it's going to have to shoot along here. And it would get that far. Yeah. So if that's the case, we know that that is absolutely forced. Whether this is a 1-14 in a straight line, or a 2-14 block, 
it will always cover these cells here. And that could have stopped this 6 coming up further if this 6 had been one, one higher up. It doesn't quite in this, in this case. Um, but I suspect that will now help us to make a further deduction. This 12 has to come down. Hopefully that's obvious too. Because this 12, even if it's a tw even if it's a 6 by 2, it's still going to come down into these three cells here. And you can see now that's locking this 6 into one of these positions. And now this, this 12 is now off, has to cover these positions here. Otherwise it, it, just, it just won't work. And now this 6 is forced. So the 6 is forced, this is forced, this is forced, which means we are looking at this unusual configuration here. And now the 15 has to be in those positions. We don't know quite whether it's going further than that. And now it locks the bottom of the grid up like this. means the 15 is like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. And you can see how once you get good at these, you can really get quick at them. Um, that has to be like this, that has to be like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and there we are. Um, so I really recommend these puzzles. I find them, um, they're almost therapeutic. They're, you know, and especially the big iterations of them can get quite challenging. I mean, let me um, let me just give you an example of how daunting they can look if I can find one quickly on the site. Uh, is there one that's sort of... Yeah, let's have a look at... I'll just load this one up. This will probably hurt your eyes. Um, if it appears, something like this. Is it going to appear? There it is. So there you go. That's how, how they can look in their most extreme forms. And you can see that here we get some very interesting size numbers. So there's there's a couple of 20s in the grid. Um, and 20 is an annoying number in the context of this puzzle because it can be made in a few different ways. So it can obviously be a whole line of 20, or it can be a 210 or a 45. Um, so often the 20s are not the place to start. You'd be again looking at your standards like your 9 here has to extend this way. 16 is also a very awkward number because, of course, that can be, um, well, it can be 16 straight line, 2, 8, or 4, 4. 18 is more, tends to be more interesting. You can see how actually this 18 here it has to extend like that. There's another 14 that we saw earlier. And yeah, anyway, definitely worth doing. Um, and you can get very quick at them. Perhaps I'll just show you how quick you can go if you really, um, if you practice. Um, so let's have a look at this one. Uh, okay, so you can see, I can see immediately that 12 has to do that, and that, that's sort of all quite forced. That six can't reach there. Um, that five now has to come across, and the nine is now forced, and this nine is now forced, and this six is forced. That five can't reach there. And you can see, I think, already how I'm able just through experience to just um, draw some of these lines in. There's nothing um, particularly clever about what I'm doing, but with experience, this is um, this is what's what's possible. Twelve, five, four, five, six, nine. This 8 has to now come across, I think. Uh, that's, that's nice, isn't it? That's going to force that and that. 9, 6, 8, 8, 6, 6, 10, 6, 12, that, that, that. Oops, misclick, damn. So not bad. 1 minute 13. Let's see where that will put me on the overall site, if, it, if it'll show me, uh, solvers, yeah, so 22nd out of the 560 people who've ever done the puzzle, top 2%, which is good on Nicolae, because there are some 
uh, very, very quick solvers. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope that was an interesting look at Shikaku. Definitely, in its uh, when you get the bigger geometries, very good puzzle. And nickly.com is the place to find them.